hi welcome to this uh, new video tutorial today you are going to see how you can add a rest api functionality to uh, the websocket and spring boot applications which is having a front end running on angular and angular material ui uh, to make it clear i will uh, make use of the first projects that we created in this tutorial here this part one here uh, where we had uh, these applications something like this one and uh, each time that a user entered something right so then it was shown it was shown here and uh, what we want to achieve now it is to be able to add a REST API and do something in the backend. For example, if we post something in the backend, then the message will be shown here directly without us entering, entering a message here manually. And uh, in order to do that, in order to do that, uh, we are going to come back here to uh, our initial projects. As I said, uh, if you don't have this project, so you can go to my repository and download it. Um, if not, yeah, you can just see the concept or watch my previous uh, video. So and uh, what we are going to do now what we are going to do now is uh yeah in the back end in the back end what we are going to do is to first create a new package called service new java package that we call services and inside services here we are going to create a new class called websocket service So here is our new class here uh, called WebSocket Service. Uh, what we start now is we annotate it with service. We annotate it with service and then we are going to inject uh, the same messaging templating that will allow us to post uh, the message, post something to the broker. So in order to post something to the broker, we need to get that same uh, messaging. Uh, it's this one. It's the same messaging template. Uh, here is that one here. And then WebSocket service, WebSocket service, simp messaging template, template. Uh, this template equal template semicolon. And then Uh, after that one is done now, we have to uh, post to message bot. So, and uh, what we do now is to create a method that will allow us to post uh, to the message bot. So, post, post to to message. But uh, what we do is we will take a string. Uh, for now, we take final 
string message this way and then each time we receive that message system are going to post something in the console message received in backend message received in backend and uh, now we we'll need to post it convert and send and then we are going to take which one here destinations and payload so we need here as you can see here we need the destinations our destinations here is going to be uh, topic slash messages and here we are going to pass a message to this one so and uh, you already explained i already explained this one in the previous tutorial here and uh, about this uh, top uh, this destination here so it's the same thing that we explained here so uh, the broker here is listening to uh, to this uh, names here destinations here so and uh, we are going to post to that one same thing here in the front end if we go here to our service in the front end yeah so you can see that we are subscribing to uh, this topic uh, dot messages slash messages so yeah that is it and uh, if you go back to that here we need to create an object convert this string to a message object so in order to do that we need to write here uh, message equal uh, no message object name new message this one msg so uh, here is it now our service is ready and then now we need to create A controller so in order to create a controller here we create a new class that we called post to message bot controller and we annotate it with a rest controller then uh, once uh, we are there so we need to uh, post mapping and create our service okay here right post mapping and then we can call it slash post to message bot post to message bot and then here we are receiving 
et payload message. Make sure that we select uh, our message here from this package. That is the message there. And the same thing as before, each time we receive something, uh, system dot out dot print length, and uh, what we set here, we write like service. received a order or URL service message sent here we can write the message content we post that one and here we are not going to return anything so we come there now and in order to send that one to use our service that uh, we created here in order to do that we need to inject that service here and uh, our auto wired or dependency injections web socket services right here is that it is not use service and uh, it was called post to message bot and it was we needed we are passing the string there so we need to get the content and then that is it so we save everything now we are saving everything everything is almost ready uh, what we need to do now is to build our service to build our projects here is the front end our back end is here so we got maven clean install same thing with the front end at the same time here at ng build Okay, successfully built we run it our back end is running ng served So now if we call go to that one to the local host uh, 4200 that we have here so we can see that our front end is loading now if we type hello like we hello manual we can see that okay that one is gone and we can see that a message is posted here is added and then also in the back end we can see that the message received from the back end that look nice and uh, so next thing that we need to do now is to post a message to our 
uh, from uh, the, from the backend. You can use Postman or whatever you want. And the tool that I'm going to use is this Thunder client uh, that I use found very handy here in VS Code. And uh, here is my post here. So we just create. We just come here and create a new request. But I already have it here. Then, yeah, I enter this uh, 8080. This is the backend port in which it's running. And then this uh, our identifier here. So if I come here, you just have to make sure that uh, while forming, we go to body JSON here and while forming this JSON structure here and then that we it is matching here so here the name here is message uh, content so it's this same message content that we have here yes what we have here then if we post it is successful here and then you can also see that it's received in the back end and now if you use our front end you can see that German is printed and that goes along that goes along uh, sorry so that goes here So each time that we post something, uh, okay, it's better now. So each time we post, we can see that it's changing. Hello, Mumi. So automatically here it is changing and no matter how many clients that we have here, then that it will be replicated here in that those number of clients. As you can see here, if we refresh this, keep these two open and post, we can see that two clients here are being updated at the same time. So stuff are happening in the back end instead of waiting that we enter uh, something here in the front end. So this is how uh, one of uh, the way that we can use this uh, WebSocket to build a powerful uh, uh, real-time applications. And I hope that this one is useful to you. Stay tuned for the next uh, video tutorial bye and uh, also i will also put uh, the source code here in the repository and then add it in the details bye